Time Out New York, Fringe Bins 2010. We're about to go see... I can't even read it. Evan O. Television in double negatives. Backwards, it's negatives double in O. Television Evan. In Television O. Evan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you know about it? I know nothing about it. We know nothing about it. Sometimes that's the best place to be because if you don't know anything, you can't be disappointed. With a name like Evan O. Television and double negatives? I bet... I bet there's some television. Who knows? I hope there's a television. This is, sounds like the kind of like alter ego I would have made for myself in high school. Which is really? not a value judgment. I'm just no. saying I'm the kind of kid, I was the kind of kid that would make up goofy alter egos like Evan O Television. I just hope that there's a TV and we get to watch Law and Order. Uh-oh. Look at this motorcycle. French binge. This is like the opening of a Law and Order where like some goofy downtown types are reviewing theater and then they discover a dead body. Look, a dead body. Oh, a dead body. Now you know why we're on this side of the curtain and not that side. Because of our acting. The show basically was him trying to stand on the shoulders of giants such as Andy Kaufman and other great performance art comedians. Yeah, there were sort of echoes of um, Laurie Anderson and Max Headroom. Max Headroom. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's the that's the first time you'll hear Laurie Anderson, Max Headroom, and uh, Woody Allen. Woody Allen all mentioned in the same sentence. Do you see we're he's, we're standing he's standing on our shoulders, the statue. Oh, that's clever. That's why I said that's why oh, I started. Oh, you're clever. It. That's why I started you're it. Clever with your clever um, saying. It was an hour long. It was a gentleman who was a comedian talking to a videotape of himself on stage on television, it seemed very 80s, like something that they would have done in the 80s that would have been hysterical in the 80s, but in the 90s with the internet, with YouTube, with Facebook, it just didn't... Um... Yeah, and now that we're not in the 90s anymore, oh. since we're in the, the um, actually not even the aughts, yeah, it just, we're he, in the teens. It's kind of a one-trick gimmick that's funny and it works sometimes, it's clever, but for the most part, it kind of... Um... I don't know. I You know, I, this is one of those shows that started off kind of funny, kind of serious, and I kind of liked it, and then I started to kind of hate it, and then I started to really hate it, and then when I started to really hate it, I started to really love it, because I was thinking, whoa, this is blowing my mind in a messed up, weird way that my mind hasn't been touched before, and then I would, I think I just came around, like, it's like a Family Guy episode, yeah. when a Family Guy joke goes on too long, yeah. and you're just like, a lot like this Ooh. review. 